program it. I don't know how to program it. <laughs> okay. I have, I have one more thing. Okay. What, just one? You want more? I told you to give me a honeydew list, and you had all day, and you only put, have three things on the honeydew list? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. This dryer <laughs> needs to be hooked up. It's not hooked up. It's not hooked up to the... To the thing that goes oh. up. That... Wait, that's the vent that takes all the drying, yeah. the lint up? Yeah. Oh. And it's not hooked up and it just it just blows everywhere and look at all the Oh, so it blows. It blows down in there. And how come that was never been hooked up? Because nobody asked. knows how to do it. Here we are, another honeydew list item. <laughs> Here's the dryer. And see that pipe up there? in the corner. That's the dryer vent. Goes all the way up there and it dumps out in the attic and goes across and goes over to outside. Well, some for some reason it's not hooked up properly to that. And I think the report was that it was blowing out of the side here. Let me see if I can turn this on, see what's going on. Well, that's kind of an ancient dryer. And I look down over here, let's see. You see that? I know something's not connected properly. There's some lint all down on the ground right there. Let's see if we can get in there a little closer back to the back. And sure enough, See all that lint build up back there? It's blowing away right now. I'm going to shut this off and see what's going on. You know, every once in a while on your dryer connections, just, you know, keep your eyes open. And if something like this is happening, I'm sure you can fix it. As with any project I do, you know by now, I put my my back brace on. So I'm gonna be moving. Ah, uh, come on. I'm gonna be moving that dryer. And I wanna protect myself. Uh-oh. I got it backwards. Here we go. This is my dad's actually, so I'm just borrowing it. <laughs> That's going to protect my back as I'm moving that dryer around, okay? Be careful when you're working on heavy things. Get yourself one of these. I gotta show you this. I gots to show you this. See that? That's the flexible ducting that's supposed to be hooked up to that pipe that goes up the wall and it's all been smashed in right there. It's disconnected and it doesn't look too good, does it? Okay, I'm going to have to pull this out further and see if I can reuse that piece. If I can't, I'll be heading back to the store. That's what we're dealing with. That's what we're dealing with. You see that? It's been all mashed up. All right, I'm going to pull that off. See what we can do with it. 
Look at that. Even if this was connected up properly, there's no way anything could go out through there. Now usually there's a clamp on there. And I don't see any, but that's okay. You know, for that connection, they slid it on there. And see the end of that pipe right here, they just taped it. And that hooked on the back side of the dryer. And that popped off because there wasn't a clamp on there. Lots of lots of times they give you a clamp that goes around that and then you clamp it on the back side and that keeps it from popping off of the end of the dryer. You know what I mean? Here's the end of the dryer. See, there's not much room down there, is there? I wish they would make those stick out further, this pipe stick out further, because there's hardly enough room to push that on there and also clamp it on there, you know? So I'm going to have to go to the store and get something. And I'll probably take this pipe with me or I can measure it, you know. If you've got a tape measure, you can measure that. And I'm looking at that and it's kind of pushed in, but this is flexible piping, you see? See how it's just got pushed in there too far. Look at that. See? I mean, this could possibly be reused. I could cut it shorter. They don't really need it that long. That's, that's the one thing that whoever installed this, you see how long this pipe is? How long that is? And you're pushing that right up, right up against the wall. Now what they should have done is made that a lot shorter. But the thing is, you don't want to make it so short that you can't connect it and then squeeze out behind the dryer and get back out. Okay, so that was kind of the idea of that stuff kind of pushing together. But it got all mangled because somebody pushed the dryer back in there too far. They weren't careful. They didn't realize they had pooched it in like that. Okay. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit, pull that out, kind of check things out before I go to the store. It's always a good idea to look at things twice before taking a trip to the store because you only want to go to the store once, right? Here's something else I want you to see. Whenever you got something like this, you want to check it because look at all this stuff all inside that that elbow because it's going up remember it's going all the way up here so every once in a while you might want to pull your dryer out disconnect it check your fittings because if that gets full and that was that was still enough to get things up there if it was hooked up properly but if you get too much more stuff than that in there you could have a build up you could get the dryer to back up the dryer could start overheating and who knows what might happen so look at your dryer connections and uh, do some maintenance every once in a while hey, since you got the dryer pulled out might as well pull out the Wash the machine a little bit, sweep back behind there, to get all the loose stuff that the dryer was was pushing out of the back. Doesn't hurt to do just a little bit extra. To get everything nice and clean. It seems as though you've got enough room to do that now. Since I had my tape measure, I thought I'd just measure this pipe, and it's four inches. 
Now most dryer vents are four inches, but you don't want to go to the store, make an assumption, and get some other type of venting material because they have some, some flexible duct venting that's three inches and four inches, you know, for exhaust fans, ceiling fans, and that kind of stuff. So you don't want to just look at it and think, oh, okay, yeah, that'll do. And then you get back home and you find out, oh, I got the wrong stuff. So always check. Now, if you don't have a tape measure, that's fine. You can take that old piece of flex work there and take it to the store with you and match it up. Now, could I reuse this? You know, I mean, in a pinch. If it was late at night and I had to get this done, I could stretch this out maybe and work with this. You know, but it seems as though I've got to go to the store anyways. More than likely, I'm going to get a new piece because this is all dirty inside and it's been sitting here for quite some time. And even, even if I did hook it back up, it's got a slight memory to it. So see, it's going to fold back and it's going to eventually sag back down here like that when it gets hot. So I'm not going to reuse this. When I go to the store, I've got to remember that when I get this new this new vent material that gets some clamps for the ends. Now sometimes you can push it on. If you don't have any clamps, you can push it on. But you know, you start moving the dryer around, or you think you have it on all the way, and it slips off. Why do that? Just get a clamp. They don't cost very much. And it's a nice little insurance policy. Wow, that looks like nice stuff for a mouse or a rat to make a nest. Ooh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm off to the store. I'm sure glad it's not very far away. I'll be right back.